Brooklyn Independent Television. Well, if you're looking in the background real quick, the teams continue to warm up, but before we get into the game, well, joining me is Vernon Jones of NYCFootball.com, NYC Sports TV, NYC Sports Network. All of that, right, Vernon? All of that stuff. Everything. Right. Everything. Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings. Too, <laughs> everything. Right? Everything. Well, Vernon, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Erasmus Hall versus Lincoln High School. Lincoln has returned to the scene of last year's crime that took place, right? Yeah, and I'm quite sure they want to win this one. They don't want to be 0-2. And, and I, I, you know, by the looks of things, every, all signs are pointing towards Lincoln. But you never know, this is one game, anybody can win. Now, for Erasmus Hall, they have one piece missing. Uh, Shaquel Jackson, he just walked out. We just spoke to him. And he's, he said he's, he's not playing. But, I mean, we knew he was hurt, but it's a big game. I'm quite sure they tried to get him healed before the game and see if he can get a, get a run in, but obviously he couldn't do it. Now, that's a major factor. That's a, that's a huge factor. That's a big blow for them. He's one of their major guys. And, you know, with, between him and Wayne Morgan, that's, that's, those are the guys you have to key on. And now you just have to key on Wayne Morgan, and um, it just makes things a little easier for Lincoln. So the way you see it right now, it looks like, especially with him out of the game, it's really leaning towards the rail splitter. Well, if I'm a betting man, you know, if I'm in Atlantic City on Vegas, I'm, I'm going with uh, the rail splitters in, the, in a game like this. Unless, uh, and the weather is not, I mean, it was raining earlier, but it's, it's nice right now. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice day, it's 60 degrees. I got to go with the rail splitters. 60 degrees in December, we're here at Yankee Stadium, PSAL Championships. We play in the second year here at Yankee Stadium. This is really a feast. Right. And last year was freezing. I remember I was I was freezing out here. This year it's uh, nice weather and the plays seem to be ready. It should be a good game. Both coaches also are pretty well established in the PSAL. Danny Lambert. Yeah, they, they uh, both, uh, you know, this is a big game for both of those guys. They're trying to win their first championship. Obviously, somebody's going to come out of here with their first championship. We and, just don't know who. And, and Erasmus Hall has, a, has the spirit of Al Davis looking over them. Al Davis, who also attended Erasmus Hall. And, you know, he's Mr. Raider himself, was president of the Raiders. He uh, unfortunately passed a couple of months ago. Well, uh, yeah, you know, Erasmus, a lot of people went to Erasmus, but he's just one of the guys. Right. And, uh, you know, I guess he's, he's looking on them, hope, looking down, hoping, hoping that these guys come away with the win. And this is a school that's also had a long football tradition when you look at it, Erasmus Hall. Uh, yeah, they've been, I mean, it's a, uh, it's, for years, they, a nice tradition, but they never won the championship. So this is big, and if they could win it here on, on the field of Yankee Stadium, that, that would be great, but, it, you know, it uh, remains to be seen. Folks, how do you stop him? Uh, or can you? I don't know if you can stop Kareem, folks. I mean, he's, uh, you know, a, a big-time player. You may stop him, you know, somewhat, but really, it's, it's, you just, you can't, you have to try to contain him. You really can't stop him. I guess you really, they have to, I mean, I would put one guy just go, focusing on him at all times, and then I just have guys uh, helping out. Quarterback-wise, they also have one of the best quarterbacks, right, uh, Giselle Jones? Yeah, he's, uh, I mean, he could run, he could throw, he's, um, you know, he's a leader, you know, I really like his game, and this is, I'm quite sure he's thriving in a game like this. This is like, he's, you know, he loves the cameras, and this is probably big for him. Now, tell us also more about your website, too. Uh, well, you know, we, we cover uh, football, NYC football, you know, it's mostly, really, nycfootball.com, nycbasketball.com are more like um, social networks for the New York City football community and the New York City basketball community. So it's like a Facebook for football in New York City or Facebook for basketball in New York City. And you know, we have a lot of members, thousands of members, which is, is great, we love it. They probably will be attending this game, hopefully if it'll dry up pretty soon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. Well, thanks a lot, and hopefully we may uh, talk to you after the game for time. All right, thanks. It's halftime here at Yankee Stadium PSL Championship, and so far the rail splitters are ahead over Erasmus 14 to 12. Vernon, we got a game here. Yeah, it's a, it's a good game, and it's 14 12. Lincoln is up. They fought, they actually are fortunate to go into the half up. Jesse Jones, he, he threw the interception, and it could have went the other way. But, they, but the defense uh, saved him. He seems quite comfortable out there, too, though. Yeah, he's looking good. He's looking good. He just made that one mistake, and his defense actually. They're good defense. They saved them, and they were able to stop it and, you know, to go into the half 14-12. For Erasmus, uh, Wayne Morgan also, and Khalil Lewin. 
Wayne Morgan is doing good, and uh, he's doing having actually he's having a really good game. And Khalil Lewin, the sophomore, he came up big. He's coming up big. He came up big in a Titanville game. He's coming up big now. So far, I mean, you know, Verazes win his game. Looked like he might be the MVP. Kareem folks for Lincoln scored the first touchdown for the Rails winner. Kareem, he, he scored the first touchdown. He got hurt, went out. When he went out, they didn't really lose anything. Denzel uh, Duchesne went, came in, scored a touchdown, and Duchesne is playing good defense, too. I mean, they're playing like it's a sunny day. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. It's nice out. I mean, it's a little wet, but it's, it's, it's a beautiful day. Only, you know, it feels a little wet, but I'm quite sure these guys are having fun. Are the Erasmus Hall, the Dutchman, are they missing Shaquille Jackson at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely going to miss him. You, I mean, because he would bring a different dimension to the game. You would have three guys running the ball instead of two. And, you know, that would make things a little more difficult for Lincoln. But, you know, without him, you know, with them being out, uh, uh, Khalil Lewin is really stepped up. One last question. What do the rail splitters have to do in order to maintain their lead? Uh, they just have to continue to play good defense, and I think they just need to continue to, you know, have sustained drives and not make any mistakes because a mistake can lose a game. And for Erasmus? Uh, the same thing. They have to play uh, d good defense, and I would make sure I keep Lew Lewin, uh, Khalil Lewin in the game and keep feeding him the ball. All right. Thanks, Arthur. All right. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash bit.